Oh, we said Jesus. Um, my testimony is basically a four year. My testimony takes a long time to actually happen. Um, it started in 2015 um, when every January for the week we would pray and we would write out all that time. And I was 22 and I wanted to start over. I was working, but I wanted like a good job. So mom and dad told us to pray, um, get a government job. So in my letter, I put I wanted to get a government job. I didn't specify, I was like, Lord, get my government job. And that was January. And then I got called out of the service in March. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, give, give God some praise. Give God some praise. So from January, you wrote your letter in our week of fasting and praying unto the Lord, and you get called out in the month of March. Continue. Um, after that, uh, I was still in the degree in UV, and my dean told me, she said she would try to transfer me credits, but I didn't pay taxes. And she was like, I would try my best to transfer you credits, but I couldn't. And I got depressed, and then when I meet up, everybody else, everybody else already had the degree, and I said, well, I still have my job, and I just put the job in my so now I was like, what's happening? And I wanted to open my business. So I started to put my tithes, but I started to put more than I would have to put. I started to put the salary I wanted. So I knew I was working for this amount, but I knew I deserved to be working for this amount. So I started to put more tithes. Every month I put more and more tithes. It was hard, but I started to put more tithes. And God started to bless me and put me in places where I started to meet people that I didn't realize would have helped me later on. Um, eventually, I got shifted around the room and I was assigned to the accounts department, and I was the first person to do reconciliation for the whole division, which is really a big thing. So I was the, the youngest head of department in accounts. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some praise. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. So you hear testimony. Amen. 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 She began to pay a tithe according to what she wanted. Amen. You know, the tithe means a tenth, right? Amen. Amen. So she began to give more. Amen, somebody. Basing it on a salary that she wanted. Amen, somebody. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, whatever you are asking God to do, prepare your faith and act accordingly to what you want. Amen, somebody. And God is going to do it. Amen. Give God some praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, so I, I did mention I wanted to start a business. So when I started working in 2015, I started to put things in place and slowly started putting things in place. I would pray and I would be like, I honestly thought I could get up one morning and open up a business because I was young and naive. And then when I started to work, I realized it's a lot of money. So I started to put things in place and I would talk to my father, oh my God, my parents probably hear me talk about this forever. And they'll get frustrated and I'll be like, nobody needs to do it like this, not that. So I started to put things in place and then I started to get frustrated because it was three years and I just like feel like I couldn't reach and every time I reach four steps forward, I would feel like there's something happening and I just knock it down and I would just start crying or get depressed and I was like, I don't understand but God, you have this in my heart, you have this plan in my mind and it has to come true and I'm not going to stop, amen. it has to, have to come true and uh, I said, you know what Lord, I'm going to push you and I, I started to roll out the back and forth and I said, I need to get my business by 25. I do not care, I need to have my business at 25. And I opened up my business January and thank God. Come on, give God some praise. It took you four years of trial and error and proving God. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor and say, the race is not for the fast, not for the swift, but for those who can do what? Endure to the end. Amen, somebody. Amen. Sometimes you will be asking God for things and you might give God a date, but God has his date. Amen, somebody. There's a scripture that many are the plans that are in a man's heart, but it's the counsel of God that shall prevail. Amen, somebody. Then they will say, wait upon God. Wait upon God. Give God some praise for testimony. Amen. Give God prepare for the night communion. Amen.